Hello everyone, my name is Savage Morals, and I'm here to give you a really easy way to get infinite emeralds in survival Minecraft. Alright guys, so this method is really, really easy, and all you need is a villager. So the type of villager has to be a librarian, and and so what you'll need is a lectern for that. So as you can see, this guy is, is a, a novice, and for his first couple of trades, you're going to need it to be the bookshelf trade for nine emeralds. This, this slot can be whatever you want. It can be an enchanted book, like this guy has, and, but it has to be a bookshelf trade for the first one. And so then what you're going to need to do is trade with this guy until he gets up to the next level. So I'm going to do that real fast. And as you can see, the particle effects will go around him, signifying that he's... Oh, okay, so what you're going to want, so this is kind of a gamble because it kind of does it randomly, but for the next set of trades, you need it to be a book trade. Not an enchanted book trade, but a normal book trade. So this guy, this guy won't do. So let's just do the same thing for this guy. And we'll quickly get him up to the second level. And he should do that. Oh, man, okay, we're kind of having some bad luck here. All right, let's do it to the next one. Oh, and this is just a guy that I've already, I've already tested it with. As you can see, he for the first two trades he had the bookshelf trade, and then he had the book trade. So that's what you need to get. So let's try with this guy. You know, oh, I run out of emeralds. <laughs> Hold on a sec, guys. All right, let's see if this guy will yield us any any better results. I think he's he's next level. Okay. Aha! There we go. Third times the charm. Right. So now that he has this this book trade, he doesn't need the lectern. Well, he does need the lectern, but but as you can see, it's nine emeralds for one bookshelf. Now and and it's four books for one emerald. Now we don't want that because that's going to mess up the infinite emeralds trick. So we want to. So what you're going to want to do is zombify this guy. So you're going to have to lure a zombie in here. And as you can see, these guys even if I even if I take away this block. These guys can't get out because of the honey blocks. And so I'm going to break that block, and that guy's going to run over, and he's going to start zombifying this villager. Okay, so another thing that has to be done, and as you can see, this guy just got zombified. So we can take out this guy with a few swipes of our axe. And so this guy's now zombified, but what you're going to need to do is you have to have your difficulty on hard mode because... It, it won't zombify it if it's on easy mode. It has a 0% chance of zombifying a villager if it's on easy mode. And on medium difficulty, it has a 50% chance. So on hard, it's a 100% chance that your villagers will get turned into zombie villagers. And so as you can see, down at his waist, if he'll turn around here, you can see this little little badge, and you can see that on the other villagers as well. Why did they... I keep getting more villagers inside my little pen here. Okay, that's okay. Um, but you can see that this guy, he also has this little badge here. So they retain their profession even after getting zombified. So what you're going to need to do is after your villager is zombified, you're going to take a splash potion of weakness, and you're going to hit the villager with it. And as you can see, the particle effects start, start going. You're going to need a golden apple, and you just right-click on it. And you'll see that you start shaking, that noise comes up, and you'll see red particles start going around. So now all we have to do is wait. And this usually takes about like four to five minutes. Okay, so as you can see, this guy has now been cured. He still has his little badge down there. And if we right-click on him, look at that. His trades have cheapened. For one, depths are two. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Uh, but look at this: three emeralds for one bookshelf and one book for one emerald. Now, in order for this trick to work, you want these both. This has to be one emerald for one bookshelf, and this has to be one one book for one emerald. All right. So now that our villager has been zombified and cured once, we need to do it again to lower his trades even more. So let's place a zombie there. Oh, wow. Oh. That was surprising. He only needed one hit. It's very strange. 
All right, well, I guess that saves us some time here. So let's splash him. And there we go. And we'll give him the golden apple. There he goes. And now we wait, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut ahead to when he gets cured. See ya. Okay, another side note. If these guys are in the process of being cured, they will not despawn. No matter how far away you get. Now, look at this. I'm going to I'm going to go super far away. And you're going to see that even if I go like this 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 far away, that's probably not 120 blocks. Let's go even farther away. So even if I go over 120 28 blocks away, which is the range where they automatically despawn. All right, let's go back. He will that that zombie villager will not despawn. So let's let's go ahead and r go right back and you'll see that look at that. He's still there. So yeah, that's that's a pretty cool little thing. So you could just leave this guy and he will just sit there and cure himself. Okay, so now you can see that our, our villager friend has been cured. And so now we can go ahead and set our game mode to survival. Because you can, you, you can do this in survival. And all you're going to need is one emerald. One emerald right there. And you go ahead and you go up to this guy. And you buy a bookshelf for one emerald. Right? You get that bookshelf. You're going you're gonna to go ahead and place the bookshelf... Break the bookshelf. Not so you, with this, you can't break it with silk touch. You must break it with your hands or an axe that doesn't have silk touch. So now we go ahead and place this in there. And because of this book trade, we're going to get three emeralds. And look at that. From that one emerald, we've gotten three, three more emeralds. Now we're going to go ahead and do this same thing. One, two, three. And we're going to place them all down and break them all. And there you go. Nine books that we can trade back to this guy for nine more emeralds. And the only restriction with this is that they will lock up their trades. So as you can see, villagers restock up to two times per day. So it's not nearly as infinite as you might like, but it is infinite in the, in the sense that you can do it. And you can start with one emerald and you can end with, like, say, nine. And then you can do this, and you can keep a couple for yourself, and you can just wait until the villager, until the villager restocks their trade, and then you can do this trade again, and you'll get more emeralds, and you can keep doing this infinitely until they lock up their trades, but it's still infinite. So yeah, there you go. It's a bit of a shorter one today, but I hope you enjoyed, and uh... Bye.